Hello everyone, in this video I'll be reviewing this 15-in-1 docking station from Mini Sapporo. This is model MD6950D. In my video, I'll be unboxing it so for you to see what's in the box and then I'm gonna show you the ports and then talk about the specifications very quickly and then I'm gonna be connecting it to the setup that you see in front of you. I'll be performing three tests. The first test is the display test and I'm gonna show you how to set up the displays so that the mouse will travel freely between the three displays and also I'm gonna be testing the USB speed and I'll be also testing the charging power because one of the unique features of this docking station from Mini Sapporo is that it has a 140 watts charger that is capable of charging three devices fast charging at once so let's start so let me open the box This is a docking station. It really feels very good. So this is everything you get in the box. You have the docking station. You have a USB key that has software on it, the display link software. And this here is USB-C to USB-A adapter. This is USB-C cable. And this is a huge power adapter. It is a 140 watts adapter and these are some documentations. Let me talk now about the ports and the specifications of this docking station. This is a DC in 24 volts 5.8 amp and this here is a connection to the host so it is USB-C and it can also charge your laptop up to 85 watts. This is the Ethernet connection. It has a maximum speed of 1 gigabits per second and this is display 1. You can connect it either with Display port or HDMI. It can go up to 4K 60 Hz. Display 2 is the same thing. Display 3 is only HDMI and it can go also up to 4K 60 Hz. Let me show you now the front of the docking station. So this is the power on off button. This is the audio jack. And this is the SD NTF cards input. And these have a speed of 104 megabytes per second. And these two here are USB A. 5 gigabits per second you cannot use them to charge anything and this here is USB A 5 gigabits per second and this one has a 7.5 watts charging power and these two ports are USB C 10 gigabits per second and they have a charging power of 45 watt if you use only one and if you use both for charging each can give you 22 watts let me talk a little bit about the construction of this docking station. It has an excellent build quality. It is all made of metal aluminum and it is at the same time a heat dissipation metal. And the power adapter is really very well made and it is 140 watts and it has a very good cable. And this is USB-C cable. It is braided and also it is of very good quality. So now I have connected the Mini Sapporo docking station MD6950D to these monitors and to my laptop and by the way here my laptop is an old Dell laptop so I had to connect the docking station with the USB A to USB C adapter and despite of that it still worked flawlessly as you see so the first thing I'm gonna show you here is how to adjust the displays so that the mouse travels freely you see now the mouse is not traveling freely all you have to do is right click on any display and then choose display settings and here you need to identify the displays so click on identify and you notice that this is one two and three and the logical disposition here should mimic the physical disposition so all you have to do here is to put the third display to the left and then click on apply and now you're gonna notice that when i move the mouse it will go like this and then like this so let's see see so now the mouse travels freely between the displays. The next thing I'm going to show you is that I'm going to be copying a very large file using the USB port of the docking station. And it has a USB-A port capable of speed transfer of up to 5 gigabits per second. And this is a very fast USB key that is USB 3.1. So I'm going to plug it in. And I have a 36 gigabytes file. So let's open it here and this is it. So I'm going to drag it to the desktop and we're going to see the average copy speed. So let me put it on this big display and it is really very fast. So it is averaging 360 megabytes per second, 
which is crazy fast for a docking station. And now what I want to also show you is that I'm going to be using the USB-C charging port here. And this is supposed to be a fast charging port. So I'm going to be charging my power bank with it. And my power bank, if it is using fast charging, it is going to tell you by displaying like a lightning symbol on its screen. So let's bring the power bank. So this is my power bank. It has a 96% charge now. And I'm going to charge it by plugging it in in this fast USB-C charging port. And this is the power bank's cable. So it should charge quickly. And it should charge also using the PD charging. And as you notice, the lightning here symbol, it means that is fast charging. And this is very good. So now let me tell you what I like and what I don't like in this display link docking station from Mini Sapporo. So first, I'm going to start with the likes. I like the fact that it is really very well built and it has an aluminum housing and it has an on off button here that is very convenient. And also, I like the fact that it has a very powerful adapter. So it has a 140 watts adapter. And this is what differentiates it from other docking stations. So it can charge the host laptop in case the host laptop has a modern USB-C port. So it can charge it with the power up to 85 watts, which is really very good. And also on top of that, it has two fast charging USB-C ports. And I also like the fact that these two USB-C ports have a very high speed of 10 gigabits per second. And also I like the fact that it has three USB-A ports that have a speed of 5 gigabits per second. And it also has an SD card and a TF card. And this is very good. And now let me tell you what I don't like about this docking station. First, I don't like the fact that it has a very short USB-C cable to connect it to the host computer. Here I had to use a USB-C cable of mine because the USB 3.0 port of my laptop is on the left and I wanted to put the docking station on the right. So the short cable that is only like 50 centimeters couldn't reach. And also I don't like the fact that it doesn't have many USB ports. So even that it has five USB ports, three are USB-A and two are USB-C. It doesn't have any USB 2.0 ports for the keyboard and the mouse. And here I wanted to use the keyboard and the mouse. And I wanted also to plug my speakers in the USB port. I couldn't plug the speakers, so I had to plug them in my laptop. And this limits the usage of this docking station to connect peripherals to it. So now if I want to connect, let's say a webcam and I want to connect a microphone, I can't connect them because the USB ports are all taken. By the way, if you want to check out this docking station from Mini Sapporo, I'm going to leave an Amazon affiliate link in the description below. If you make a purchase using my link, I will gain a small percentage, but this is at no cost to you and this will help my channel. I want to thank you all for watching and I hope that this video was useful to you. In case it was, please share it Subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.